whole class, look at them. I woke up and I'm feeling like a boss right now. I'm gonna hold it down, I swear. I roll up and I'm smelling like a smell right now. I do this for my rounds. I skip her, I give her the Girl, you on my line right now Yeah, I can see the signs right now Feeling like a boss right now Feeling like a boss right now And you just took a loss right now Dripping in the sauce right now Get a sprinkle of my style I'm about to lock down Feel like in the real life Dripping on the sauce in the gun life I swear my life is amazing. No money, no hesitation. I there's no basis. I know these people be hating, but that's what made me feel like in the real life. Driven all the sauce in the good life. You shine, I shine, and ain't nobody gonna take my. I'm smelling like a right now. I do this for my rounds. Oh, yeah. My have an all white rank. Couldn't hit if that ain't. Lanes can't call and you lame. You had it and you lost all the shine. I can buy a billy, don't talk to me. For a show, 150, don't talk to me. You ain't never helped your mans, don't talk to me. You just follow all the trends, don't talk to me. I set the bar, I'm the bar. Kick in the sky, I'm a star. I don't fall in love, cause I be loving, I be loving. They ain't like my shirt, it's a large. I don't care, I crush a ghost. Got two kids and two states, I be doing the most. I got white folks money that I won't blow. And if you ask why, cause the white folks don't. Big bank, tight, low bank, bank. Big bank, tight, low bank, bank. The type of money you gon' need to sight. Type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. Type of money you gon' let you let you. Big bank, tight, low buy. Big bank, tight, low buy. Buy. Everything proper, no propaganda. Chop a counter, go yard, bandana. Big, big, a lot of like Santa. Through a birthday party in a phantom. Big, big, like a dinosaur did it. And you know, no channel like acrylic. Yeah, but had corn roll. I can see you see you hang with the door closed. Now I'm looking for a glove with a sparkle on it. And my sparkle on it. Got chocolate on it. Big bank take small. Bank account on some talk. Attitude on some bank roll on what it do, boo. He had to roll at five. And if I ain't did it yet, I'll try. Big bank take low bank. Bank. Big bank take low bank. Bank. The type of money you gon' need to say. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. The type of money you gon' let you let you. Ooh. Big bang, take low bang. Big bang, take low bang. She said, What you?
what you gon' do if I leave? I said, I'ma do me. B-I-G, everything zoomed in. Looking like I'm moving in. Got my foot in the door and we still here. I'm a first generation millionaire. I broke the curse of my family not having. I'm passionate like this after more than just cashing. Feed me to the wolves, now I lead the pack in. You boys all cap, I'm more Colin Kaepernick. I'm rare as affordable healthcare. Or going to wealth from welfare. I turn my W's to yeah, I f those. I might buy a red bottoms with the crypto. Three coins, that'll pay your whole semester. But you got it, got it better than a Tesla. Big bank take low buy, buy. Big bank take low buy, buy. The type of money you gon' need to sight. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. The type of money you gon' let you, let you. Big bank take low buy, buy. Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears. And First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, our Thanksgiving coverage continues with a good one here between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. On first down, Stafford here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Play action, Stafford. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Three down, three down. Set, waiting. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Here's Stafford. And he finds a man on a crossing route. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down at Stanford. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Hey. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete to open things up. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. There he goes, left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Now, I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7 0 game. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. Yeah, it's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? You know something? You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, yep. draft position. Where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? And he comes back with one complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. 